Michael Prince here with becausefamily.org, familytechblog.com. I just want to introduce you to my friend, Botley. Hi. Botley is a coding robot. He's built to help kids learn how to program and code, basically to teach the basic coding logic that's necessary to understand how coding works. And so Botley, here he is, he's adorable, first of all, really good looking little robot, a real handsome guy, aren't you Botley? He is. And uh, he works through this remote. So you just push the buttons on this remote, tell him what you want him to do. I'm going to say go forward, forward, left, right, forward, hit program. So he runs through the programming that you've done. And he said, wee! He has cute little sayings, cute little things that he does to uh, make him more lovable. He comes in three options. Uh, you can buy him uh, from learningresources.com. And uh, you can get him with a full like 77 piece activity set that has a bunch of uh, little pieces that you use, guys like this, that you can build a wall and have him bust through the wall. Uh, you can, um, there's cones, they have little things that you can build. Um, like a starting and finish line that has little tiles that you can build. On the bottom, you can set him to trace a line. You can set him to run on code. Um, he also has a sensor, you'll see in between his eyes right there, where you can set him to identify objects. And uh, so he'll go, I can probably show you that if I delete the old code. I'm going to delete the old code. I'm going to say go forward three times. And then say, and then say uh, but if you sense anything, then turn around and go forward twice. So you're not going to watch him do this, but you're going to see uh, how he... So go forward. Huh? He saw my hand. I spent a lot of time playing with this with my kids and letting them play. We had cousins visiting, so we let them play with it together. I got permission from other parents to show you. So as I talk, you're going to see footage of them playing, but... Uh, some of the great things that they were able to do with Botley is they were able to um, build a pattern for him to walk on for each other. So they built this pattern for Botley, and so one side would build it. We did Boys Against Girls this time. One side would build it, and they'd say, all right, now you have to program to keep him on these tiles, these puzzle piece tiles that come with Botley on the 77-piece set. You can also just get the... Uh, just the uh, the Botley, just the, the robot for $59.99, and you can get the accessories kit separately for $20, for $20 that, that comes with all of it. You can buy it all at learningresources.com. But, um, so that's what we did. We let the kids play with it, and they drove him around. Uh, we did uh, one where you put a faceplate on him that has little hands, and he will pick up a ball, like grab a ball, and walk around with the ball. So you put a little orange goal on there, little ball down, and he can push the ball towards the goal, and win because he, you know, you, you have to program him and tell him where to go. This is really cool because all over CES, the, the family tech conferences and that sec that area of the show was all about teaching kids how to code. And as I listened to psychologists and those types of people talk at CES, they were very concerned, but using screens so much that it's not good for our kids. And so many of several of these, um, several of these new toy makers are, or people who've been here a little while, like learning resources, they're using stuff like this to teach our kids coding without having to use screens. And so your kid can sit and play with this. And I have a 10 year old, an eight year old, a six year old, and a three year old. And we have cousins all the way down to two years old. And they all enjoyed playing around with Botley. Uh, you know, it's rated for five plus, And I think it's mostly because they can understand what they're doing once they reach about five years old. But my my three-year-old son, he, he could figure out, okay, push forward three times and he's going to go forward a ways. Push backwards and he'll back up. And so they're able to play it. And it's sturdy. The batteries screw in. So it's not like something that's going to just fall out real easy if they drop it uh, on the carpet or something. I really have no complaints about Botley. He's very fun. He just sneezed, see? So he does those cute little things that make your kids go, I love Botley. Come on, Botley. They root for him. My daughter was like, we need to name him. And I said, he has a name. His name's Botley. She's like, yay. And you'll see, uh, I have a picture of her. She buckled him up when we drove him to our, 
my mom's house to play with cousins. So he's a uh, he's a cute little guy. He's fun for the whole family. I enjoy playing with him and, and showing the kids, you know, hey, you could do some kind of advanced stuff with him and, and tell him, okay, how can you use the object recognition to make him stop, back up, turn, go forward, turn again, and go again and complete the process you were trying to get him to do if he sees something in front of him so that he can still go where you wanted him to go even if you put an object in front of him. Uh, or they, they use the object recognition to keep him from just running into the walls or something like that. So very neat, uh, a, cool, a cool little toy. Uh, more than a toy, really, is a good educational thing. As a homeschooler, it's a great way to introduce your kids. I'm concerned because some they do their math on an iPad sometimes. They do some English. They do some of their history stuff on iPad. So this is a really cool way to say, hey, let's do some you know, computer science, some coding, some basics of that. But let's do it this way so that you're not staring at a screen all day long to do everything that you're doing for school. Uh, so, again, learningresources.com. There's no promo code or anything for Because Family. It's just something I think is cool. I got to see him at CES, and I'm very grateful for Learning Resources for sending us a Botley so that I could show you guys what he's all about. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, check out uh, the article I'm going to write a little bit about Botley at familytechblog.com if you aren't seeing this on there already. And uh, besides that, we'll see you next time. We're going to talk about several more things that I got from CES that I was able to play with and uh, some stuff that they're still sending us. So uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, Becausefamily.org, familytechblog.com. Thanks a lot.